This has indeed been a very moving uh, morning for all of us. All of us who have, uh, whose lives have been touched by Olga. Global IB Bank, Sabai Kalagi Bank. We all remember her and we miss her a lot. But she had one of the best lives that anyone could have imagined. And I always feel, uh, even the other day I was talking to all the friends of Olga who were at a reception that uh, we had organized. And I felt, you know, in our culture, we say birth and, re birth and death is part of your journey as a soul. But if you really achieve nirvana, then you never come back. You go on to a, la to a better plane. I think Olga is there, though somewhere she must be looking at us and knowing what's happening here today. And she must be, I mean, she must have loved it. She would, I wish she was here to hear how Sani can speak. I mean, you know, she's, uh, she, uh, she's a great orator. I never knew that. I've only seen her as a child growing up. I never knew she could speak like that. And I was thinking how happy Olga would have been to have heard her say those wonderful words. I know there was a very, very deep bond because for Sani, Olga was her grandmother and somebody she adored. And for Olga, I think she was the apple of her eye. Though I know Olga has lots of very beautiful children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren. I think uh, she was right there when even Sani was born. So I think she would, have been, she would have loved this moment. And I'm sure somewhere Sani, she knows you've written a wonderful book about her. And for me, as for me and most people like me, the first time I met Olga, it was through Sajini. You know how Sajini is. You know, she's always <laughs> connecting people to each other and saying, I know this wonderful person, you must meet her. I hope she had said the same to Olga about me. But anyway, I met Olga and we got talking and you know, I was like curious about her. And I liked her the minute I saw her because first of all, she was smaller than me. I like everybody who's smaller than me <laughs> because everybody's taller than me and I always feel so smart. And she had this like, as a child, you know, like when you read all these story books, you imagine uh, things about what angels would be like, what fairies would be like. And somehow in my mind, my fairy used to look just like Olga, and I told her also. Olga, it's so strange, but in my mind, when I used to imagine fairies and angels, they used to look like you. Tiny, with short blonde hair. I mean, I'm not a racist, but my angels were always, always at blonde hair somehow. <laughs> Maybe the era I grew up in, you know, it was like that. And she had this um, amazing energy about her. It was this radiant, very, you know, and the music, I think the music that, that was made today in her honor just represented the kind of energy she had. It was positive, it was non-dominating, it was happy. And it was this tinkling kind of energy that I always felt around her. And she was incredible. If she was not incredible, I don't think all of us would have been here, especially not the children whose lives she has touched and whose lives she has changed. And the good part is, even though she's not here, that legacy is going to be carried on by all of us sitting in this room. I don't think we've all only come here to see this beautiful golden statue of Olga. I mean, I was so happy to see that the statue was golden. I was thinking, I hope it's not dark and it's not black because that's not how she is. When I unveiled it and it was golden, I said, wow, this is what Olga really should have seen. She would have loved this golden statue. Because she was really a golden girl with golden hair and golden heart. So it was, and the promise that we all may have made here today is to continue the legacy that she has um, you know, created. And uh, the choice of people that she has uh, put together. Somji and Sajini, I always, you know, I know like I put Bhaitika on Somji, but that doesn't, that's not the reason I think he's a special person. There are very few people I've met in my life who devote themselves so selflessly to Asia. And Sajini is his better half, so I cannot, I shouldn't describe her more than I <laughs> describe him. And, and the chair of our institute, of, of uh, Naif, I never knew you were Olga's friend's son. So you know her like a son, like a mother. And Olga mom, the other thing that always struck me about her was she was at least 30 years older than me, but how much energy she had. 
because every time she would uh, get all these young girls with full of energy to a house for a sleepover. And I would wonder from where did she get this energy? And she was indeed, I think, even in my mind now, she was the youngest person I'll ever know. Right after knee surgery at the grand age old, I think she was in the 80s, I go to her house and she has a treadmill. And she tells us, oh, I go on the treadmill every day. I have to build my strength. Then uh, if you call her for a party, then she's gone to a boutique. Oh, I have to look my best. So I have to order something. She has the just for life, which really is to inspire all of us. And she has seen me through tough times, through my illnesses, through a lot of changes. And I think two of the biggest things she has done for Nepal, whatever change she did, with great planning, she made sure it was not a project. Whether it was the nutrition rehabilitation homes, which have now been uh, assimilated into the hospital system of Nepal, or the Kamlari movement, which she really mastered in a way which showed how different uh, where girls' lives could be, no matter what community they came from and where they came from. And truly, I really salute Olga for how she conducted her life. Because we all have that one chance at, li at life. And most of us don't know what we are going to do. And before we know it, it's already finished. But she already knew in that journey she did with a broken leg, I think she had inspiration about what she needed to do. And I think that's why she had so many extra decades in her life. She was almost 100 to do what she set out to do. And really, this has been a wonderful afternoon for all of us to be here to celebrate Olga, celebrate her life and the causes she took up. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here.